It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my min-maxing series as France. The min-maxing period of this video has ended. I'm just continuing for a laugh to have a bit of fun, okay? Let me have my simple pleasures, guys. I just want to have fun, alright? I just want to have fun. Anyway, so Italy has fallen. No more Italy. Rest in peace. Uh, can I ask for control of some land? I bet they'll say no to this. Oh yeah, I was totally wrong. I said yes to that. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm a little bit behind on oil right now. Oh, and rubber too. Uh, Dutch cheese Indies. And a little bit more oil as well, just for safekeeping. Actually, I'll get most of the oil because... Most of the rubber. Because it's best to be a little bit over than under. Uh, extra factories? What extra factories have we got? Got extra ten factories? No, actually four. Four. Done. And now I think about it, those would be better off there. We're behind on guns? How? That just confuses the hell out of me. How do we suddenly, all of a sudden, out the blue, below on guns? I don't get it. You know, we're all shuffling position now. Did, did that make some kind of change that I'm not aware of? I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going to have you guys on. Who's the. Shoot. Move you guys over. We can launch an attack at some point, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, we'll do that as a fallback line if need be. And maybe another one here too. I'm trying to be very safe here, guys, okay? As you can probably see, I'm trying to be like an expert general, alright? Planning my defenses, my attack orders. So if I need to fall back, I can if I want to. Alright, so what have we got here? Uh, we got the tanks. Tempted to deploy the tanks early as well. Yeah, let's do that. Where's the tanks? Alright, we're kind of a bit bored of this music now. Okay, the biggest issue we've got right now is that four of these divisions, well, at least two of these divisions, are not really going to do much damage. So, more likely they're going to cause a hindrance if they reinforce before the tanks with all the damage do, which is a bit annoying. But a lot of divisions are, I'll give it that. Okay, so you're going to reinforce first, always. Then you're prioritized for the second front. Actually, do I really want to do that though? Because my, my other front line is going to, attack, going to be attacking soon. Hmm. I really want to take care of my uh, my supplies at the moment. Motorizer sorted. Tanks are about, got about a year away. Uh, the support equipment's quite far away too. I don't know what happened there. I felt like I had thousands of guns and all of a sudden they disappeared. I think there's some kind of bug happening with this. Because I've noticed that this happened a few times. Yeah, I'm not sure. 82 days. 152. That's a year. No, it's not. 206 days. This is uh, 84 days. Nice. Are you coming towards Panzer leadering it? Oh, almost halfway. Nice. Go. The combat width is 160. And uh, they're piercing the tanks. If you look, all the tanks that have actually engaged, I think it's the ones that are weaker. It has. The ones that have engaged are all the ones that are weaker. Wow. And there we go. We've got a decent one that's engaged now. And as you can see, they can't pierce it. Piercing some of them, but not all of them. Perdum. I don't know why I've not turned my planes on as well. That's stupid. So, if I was going to be the Blitzkrieg wizard that I am, I'd do this. Hate to do that. I don't like to narrow the front line.
Okay, I think we need to go. I want you guys to attack into you and keep them pinned. I think we might be able to push them back too. Naval efficiency, air mission efficiency, tactical bombing. So air superiority efficiency plus 20% is really good. And also air mission efficiency is pretty good too. The other ones I probably won't be taking advantage of, so they're not that great. I'm going to send us some motorize. I will accept. I don't know why you're engaging I me. Mean, that's a bit silly. We're going to Dunkirk them, boys. That is the plan. I can't believe we're actually losing this fight. What? We're not careful. Yep, this is a failed attempt. Okay, we have to back out now. Oh, we're not in air zone anymore. Oh my god, guys. Alright, back to square one. Everyone go back here again. The mix in between the good divisions and the bad divisions is not helping me out at all. And I'm going to have to reorganize my front line. And I'm dreading reorganizing it too. Because they're all going to shuffle around into different locations. And that's going to be painful for me to watch. So what I could do is this. Assign them all to the fallback line. This is an experiment, guys. I'm not even sure this is going to work. So we assign them all to the fallback line. Then we assign... Oh, this is actually doing it the right way. Okay, that's good. And then pink. Oh, okay, this is actually doing it... Oh, maybe it's not. I'm not sure. Oh, they're evenly dispersed, so it doesn't actually matter. So what I'm doing is I'm I'm dispersing half of them first. So that means only half will move. And then when the first half's in position, we move the other second half. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that should work. That means we don't lose all of our entrenchment in all in one go. I'm not going to do an emergency factory conversion again. How many tanks did we lose in that last engagement? 56. We didn't lose barely any. Oh, but then again, we're not producing that many either, are we? Hmm. We need some British intelligence, guys. The French intelligence sucks. Oh my god, attacking into the mountains, not smart. Not smart. Oh my god, we're having a hard time with supply too. Um, go here, push those down. So supply currently is 66. And that seems to have been no difference. Looks like it's fixed as quick as we're breaking it. As quick as we're repairing it, they're breaking it. We'll try that. I'm not sure if that's going to work. We'll definitely give it a shot, though. Alright, so what we're going to do now is kill that line there. And that means all the others should reassign automatically. That's the plan anyway. So the divisions here, the ones that are clearly broken. You know what? That's a good point. We'll leave these ones behind. These are the ones that are going to launch the attack. Perfect. All I want to do is grind to get Panzer Leader. We're so close to getting it now, so...
Need to get one of the divisions that's not full strength is just engaged again. All right, okay. Let's let's make sure we fix this problem once and for all. Go to Paris. Just sit there and chill. I don't want the tank divisions that are going to engage. The ones that have actually got tanks in them. Well, I have the maximum amount of tanks. So if we're going to launch an attack, we have to stay within our air zone. So I think we'll go that direction. Actually, we're going to have to hit Dunkirk anyway, aren't we? So do that. Yeah, that's perfect. He's willing to engage here because he knows there's not a fort. Put you here so we can't see you. How they're doing for convoys. See, no matter how many convoys we sunk, we didn't make a single dent in them. It's really cool to see. Oh, are they winning or they're losing? I can't even decide. Let's have a look at the actual casualties. So the Germans have lost uh, 333,000 men to the Soviet Union. The Soviets, on the other hand, have lost 3.02 million in total, mostly to Germany. Interesting. And they're fighting the Japanese as well. <laughs> okay. Well, that might explain why the Soviets aren't doing that well. It's the fighting a two-front thing. Yeah, we're losing a lot of guns. I think it might be the grinding in the Alps that's causing this. There's a situation where 10 width is not very optimal when you're fighting a fight where they have more firepower than you. Because what happens is you might not necessarily be losing and getting pushed back, but you might be grinding a lot of equipment. And I think that's what's happening in the Alps here. Yeah, so this is um, not helping us. Naval invasion failed. God, behind on infantry equipment as well? Go. Alright, let's have a look at this. So they can't pierce any of those tanks. We've got an extended combat width as well. They've got some insane defense though. I bet these are 40 widthers. We are making some gains though. We we'll use a bit of support from an angle to try and attack with some infantry as well. What's this? Is this a tank? Yes. Actual tank warfare. Can we keep these guys pinned in, please? That'd be great. A really tricky fight in Belgium. Is this Belgium? No, it's France. But we are beating them back here. We're in total mob, aren't we? Yep. One of our tanks has got exhausted. Can we push for Dunkirk? Like we can do it. We're gonna need you guys to push in here and try and lock them in place. This is really tricky, this. Because these the infantry don't have much firepower, so their flanking ability is pretty weak. Oh, this is really nice. Nice invasion timing. Thanks for that. Alright, oh, one of you go here. One of you go here. And this last one. Let's go here. And that makes a nice little encirclement. Oh, I'm actually quite proud of that. To say the infantry are so trash right now. And we're all relying on the firepower of my tanks. I think that's, uh, I think that's, uh, I think we can mark that down as a success, guys. What's this? 
surrounded. That's a glorious combat whip for 200. Oh, that was brutal. I loved it. I love it. Okay, so we're also going to draw a fort. Are we going to... Uh, the only reason I cancelled the fall battle line is to, so we could assign them again, wasn't there? I was just thinking about drawing it again, but it just feels kind of stupid. Drawing the fall battle line after we just erased it. Yeah, that seems, seems kind of stupid. Is he a panzer leader? He is a panzer leader! I mean, he's going to be a panzer expert now. He's on his way to organizer. He's not got skilled staffer. No, nah, he's not good for anything, really. Um, guns. We've almost catched up on fighters, which is good. I think we'll assign those to here. Turn those off for the time being. And then we'll launch another attack when we're ready. And see, the infantry have so much more stopping power than ours. It's a matter with 10 with just to keep recycling the reinforce rate and keep bringing more and more to the front line. It's the kind of the method of how 10 width works. So the downsides is you're losing a lot of troops, a lot of gear because they've got more firepower than you. But the positive note is that you're delaying them. So right now they're holding that position and probably going to hold it for a, quite a while too. How's the combat going here? Still good? Holding? I think we can probably give these guys new traits, probably. Ambusher. Ambusher. If anyone doesn't know what this does, it gives them extra 10 entrenchment and a tactical bonus whilst entrenched, which, as you'd imagine, extra tactics on the defensive results in, believe it or not, results in uh, reduced combat width. Alright, so everyone's here now. Put a few more of you guys here. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna manually do this, especially when I'm doing these such precise encirclement invasions and whatnot. I wanna make sure this is as precise as it can be. And go for the air security guy. How's the rest of the world going? So Japan is kind of winning a little bit in the north. Oh no, they've not. No, they've not. They made a push out and grabbed a little bit of the eastern, far, far, far eastern Russian Siberia, but then they've lost most of China. They're getting combated quite heavily in Raj and their navy. Oh, they've lost about 70 ships, but they're still holding out and they've landed into the Dutch East Indies too. Okay, so they're the, the winning a little bit, losing a little bit. The war against the Soviets is definitely not going in their favor. But, um, the war against the Allies seems to have gone a little bit more favorable to them. All right, let's get the staff office plan. We've got so much planning bonus we want to get. I think for a multiplayer game, you definitely want to go for Grand Battle Plan as France to get that extra reinforced rate. But I think Grand Battle Plan would work out quite well. For them too. All that extra planning bonus stacked on top of each other would do some devastating damage. I'm trying to wait for all this this planning bonus to finish out. Extra 10% attack damage per day. That's amazing. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Don't need to worry about training new troops. Missing troops for tactical bombers. Don't care about that. What are we doing for fighters, boys? Can we get some more? We've only got a handful, so we're not going to bother with that. And then we can go, right? This is going to be a tricky one to win because we're pushing into forest here. Nope. And then we're pushing medium tanks too. But that is a very tricky fight to win. What are the losses on that? Lost 63 tanks. They're all crappy old models, though. Alright, that's the plan.
uh, those old divisions are getting the, the scraps of the old tanks. I can't believe they're still pushing into this area. I've noticed the expert AI mod is a lot more aggressive, which actually kind of makes it more fun. You've got to be more precise with your landings in different locations. This is interesting. This is also interesting. This is very interesting. I don't think it's the end of Germany though, guys. Nope. I don't think so. Oh man, losing so many tanks. It's a shame to have these divisions and not actually can not really do anything with them. Let's merge them. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's just do that. That I should have done that from the start. I was maintaining more divisions than I can use. And what's the point of having a division just sat behind the front line? That's just stupid, isn't it? Every division should be in combat doing something. Because otherwise it's just troops standing around doing nothing. It's not really helping the war effort, is it? Alright, if we merge these again, we'll get five, right? No, we actually get four. <laughs> oh no! There you go. We just, we just had just the right amount of tanks to do it. And these are all crap models, right? Now some of these are new ones. So we really only had the ability to have four full heavy tank divisions and then kind of just one partial. So we never really had the ability to have a full eight. As, uh, when we were training those four new divisions, we would just kind of reinforce these just as fast. So the new divisions we were training, they could have just been, just been used for reinforcements for the existing divisions. Alrighty then. We're in position, that's good. First tower is the hardest to get through here. Let's probably do that now. Yeah, let's do it. This is an easy win, that. There's one mechanic of the game that I don't know a great deal about, and it is what I've just talked about, then it's um, tactics. So I'm trying to play a little bit more of close attention to how tactics work in the game. Take advantage of them. So what we're doing now is I'm trying to lock these in place while I make advancements forwards with the tanks because I want to lock them in so therefore we can make a pocket in uh, Belgium, Western Belgium. There's two things for that. One, it keeps them in position it doesn't make them move and two, they're, uh, they're locked into a double combat penalty as well and double combat penalty just means like I think it's a 30% reduction in attack damage. It's really big. Go here, then go here. Then go here. Oh, it's really cool when I can see myself fighting German panzers and winning. That's right, guys. French tanks are the best tanks. Anyone who disagrees, you're wrong. So right now we're going to try and extend the combat width by using infantry to push into the pocket, the corners. There we go, that's a really fat combat width. He recaptured that territory, but that's not bad. At the end of the day, we want to do this to grab a, make a pocket. That was the plan. And we succeeded. We grabbed a little bit of Belgium back. We've liberated some of Belgium. We are heroes, boys. We were forever remembered as the Belgians. Great Belgian heroes. Okay, where are we doing now? So we're going to go... Here, and then here maybe. I want to launch an attack with my infantry, but I can't because I'm too far behind on supplies at the moment. These guys are going to be experienced by now. <gasps> Adaptable. Oh! If anyone doesn't know, guys, Adaptable is an insanely strong trait. It reduces all terrain penalties by 50%. It is very strong. There are quite a lot of traits here that I would consider quite frankly rubbish. But then there are some traits like adaptable that are just like and panzer leader that are godlike. They're very, very good. I think he's leveled up yet. Not a single level up. So disappointing. You know what actually? I've changed my mind. We're going to go here and then we're going to go here. 
Because I see those spicy tank divisions there, and I'm like, I want those. I want them, boys. We've got no command power. Oh, we've just spent it all, haven't we? Unadaptable. Whoops. Whoops. Into an air base there as well. Can we move you in? Ah, oh, we need staff office plan right now. We need 11 com command power. It's not even that much, but we just burnt it all on adaptable, didn't we? So right now, he is our best general. He's got seven, seven? Is that logistics? It is, yeah. Probably the weakest stat of them all. Hmm. Constantly repairing those two tiles. Oh, the British have launched an attack. This is where we want to go. And now we're actually putting some firepower on them, but we're pushing into urban. Not only is urban a decent defensive area to hold, but it's also uh, a good area because it reduces air efficiency by 50%, air support. Uh, my aircraft don't get as much uh, oomph in the air. It's a technical term, that oomph. All I want to try and do is lock in these three tanks that are mechanized into infantry while I shove these out of the way. The problem is, is moving these tanks out of the way is very difficult. They've got a lot of really big fat tank divisions, the Germans. And we can't break that. No, we can't. We're going to have to stop. Nope, we cannot break them. Just guns and infantry equipment we're low on now. I actually managed to shoot down a lot of their planes too, but then again they're shooting a lot of ours down too. Oh my god, those divisions just sat there teasing me. Oh, there's loads of tanks here too. Man, they have a lot of tanks now I think about it. And these are all 40 widths as well. Let's have a cheeky look. Mechanized division. It is a 40 width. It's beautiful that division, isn't it? Look at all that mech. So look at the medium armor too. This is a 40 width or two. It's got AA, it's got medium tanks. That is an insane division. It's a little bit low on the organization though. But you've got you've got mobile warfare as Germany, so you have the ability to do that. I don't know why we have control of this terrain. Yeah, I think the UK has given us control of Tripoli for some reason. Oh, actually, no, we occupied it, didn't we? We grabbed this one, didn't we? Can we give it... You know what? You can have that. You can have it. A gift. So where's our adaptable guy? It's the 30 dude, isn't it? It's this guy. Oh man, terrain penalty reduction, 50%. That is so good. But no matter where we launch our attack right now, we're struggling to kind of get around the back of them. I don't think I could go one tile down from this city. What is this city? It's not actually got a name, has it? Yeah, I don't think I can go one tile down because we're widening our width here. We couldn't do that. That's just too much. Getting over those big rivers is a nightmare for tanks as well. I don't think that's doable. Nope. I realize that these guys don't actually have planning bonus. Because they don't have an attack order. That'll do. And that'll mean they'll slowly gain their planning bonus now. Good. I wonder if I can break this by just charging it with raw infantry. This is pretty funny to see if this works. Mass infantry against tanks. Can it be done? Yeah, it looks like it can. 
It's just it's just so many numbers. And we're attacking from so many angles as well. No, I'm wrong. We can't. <laughs> there are limits to 40 width infantry, guys. It's not that strong. Oh, we have American tanks here. AAs, yeah. That's the 40 width as well. All right, we are getting uh, we're getting pretty dug into our front lines here, but a lot of our supply issues are going to be sorted soon, and we're going to be ready to launch another attack. I can tell why there's not much advancement going around Germany right now, because they've got so many really rock-hard tank divisions. Not a surprise. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, guys, remember to like and subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.